In this example, we need to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept of 4x plus 5y equals 20. Then we need to graph the equation using these intercepts. Well, what do we mean by the x-intercept of a graph? The x-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis, so it has to be somewhere along here. And what is true for every single point on the x-axis? They have a y value of 0. So to find the x-intercept, you are going to set the y value equal to 0. So let's find the x-intercept for this graph. So we're going to set y equal to 0 in our equation. So we're going to get 4x plus 5 times y, which is 0, equals 20. So 5 times 0 is 0, so we're going to get 4x equals 20. Get x by itself by dividing both sides by 4. And we get x equals 5. So the x-intercept is the ordered pair. x is 5. And what is y? Remember, y equals 0. So there is the x-intercept for this graph. And let's plot the point. 5, 0, start at the origin, go 5 to the right, nowhere in the y direction. So there is my x-intercept. Now we need to find the y-intercept of the graph. Well, the y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. And what is true of every point on the y-axis? x equals 0. So to find the y-intercept, we're going to set x equal to 0 in our equation. So I'm going to get 4 times 0 plus 5y equals 20. Well, 4 times 0 is 0, so I'm just going to get 5y equals 20. To get y by itself, divide both sides by 5. And the 5's reduced, so I just get y equals 20 divided by 5 is 4. So my y-intercept has the ordered pair of x equals 0, y equals 4. So let's plot that point. Start at the origin, x is 0, go nowhere in the x direction, and y is 4, go up 4. So there is my y-intercept. Now, I could just graph my line right now, but it doesn't hurt to find a third checkpoint to make sure your arithmetic is correct. So what kind of checkpoint do I want to pick? I want to try and avoid fractions. Since this point was 5 to the right of the y-axis, I'm just going to pick a point that is 5 to the left. So I'm going to pick x equals negative 5. So I'm going to put negative 5 in my equation. So I have 4 times negative 5 plus 5 times y equals 20. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20 plus 5y equals 20. To get y by itself, I'm going to first of all have to get rid of the negative 20. So I'm going to add 20 to both sides. So I get 5y equals 20 plus 20 is 40. Divide both sides by 5. And I get y equals 40 divided by 5 is 8. So my checkpoint is negative 5, 8. So let's plot that quickly. Negative 5 is left 5 and then up 8. And yes, does that look like my arithmetic turned out pretty good? Yes, I think I have a straight line there with those three points. 
So now I'm going to try and draw something that looks like a straight line going through them. Hopefully I'll, I can hit each of my points. That looks pretty good there. And then don't forget, always put arrows on the end of your line. So there is the graph of 4x plus 5y equals 20. And here's the x-intercept and here is the y-intercept.